Let's have a closer look at what are Mercedes's problems this season and how they are trying to get back on track. The main surprise for most of one teams this year was the bouncing of the new generation of cars. Pretty much everybody has the problem, but at Red Bull there is almost no bouncing. CTO Adrian Newey says that this is a problem you won't get rid of with the current generation. You simply have to find a way to live with it, as good as possible. Newey was one of the first students to focus on race car aerodynamics in Southampton at the end of the 1970s during the ground effect era of Formula 1. And he also wrote his final thesis about ground effect. So he remembered the behavior that these ground effect cars could have. Effects that you cannot see in CFD or wind tunnel before the car is driving for the first time. He basically describes the solution as you have to avoid suction peaks underneath the car that would suck it onto the street. And that is what we discussed in my previous videos about 2022 floors and about floor expansion. So the key seems to be, like the Red Bull floor, to avoid aggressive kick points in vertical expansion underneath the car. If we look at the Ferrari, we can see one aggressive kick point and they have bouncing with a high amplitude and low frequency. Special about the Ferrari is that bouncing seems to stop as soon as the driver lifts the throttle and starts steering. In that case, the flow patterns underneath the car change and the aggressive suction seems to be weakened. The Mercedes, on the other hand, seems to use a double kick point design from the pictures we have seen so far. The bouncing at the Mercedes is happening with a higher frequency compared to the Ferrari and with smaller amplitude. That basically describes how long it takes to reattach the flow and build suction again. Mercedes themselves say that they thought it would be less aggressive in the rain when speeds are lower, but the issue was still there. They know that it depends on downforce level, speed, ride height, wind, bumps and traffic. At the moment teams are careful with updates because you could suddenly make bouncing worse. So although it's painful and takes time, Mercedes wants to understand it completely, otherwise they could end up with updates that bring the old problem back in the future. The small updates Mercedes brought to Imola were more general ones to improve cooling and a bit of downforce on the upper side of the car. Ferrari, for example, lives with the bouncing because it doesn't cost them much lap time at the moment and the drivers can cope with it. But this could also change quickly if they bring a bigger update that increases bouncing in the future. So in summary, it seems as Mercedes designed a car with a philosophy that would have worked for the regulations of last year's. But the new generation of cars this year requires a different concept. They designed a floor with aggressive vertical expansion and concave surfaces because the rules allow this. But as we heard from Red Bull, it's more about avoiding suction peaks underneath the car and even pressure distribution. Mercedes also designed a super tight bodywork, which was the design direction of the last years to send more CPT, so energy, to the back. But the larger exposed floor area makes the floor more flexible. The floor can then bend down, seal the floor and even increase suction underneath the car, which makes things worse. To stiffen up and support the floor, they need to add weight to the car. And to reduce the bouncing, they need to increase ride height, which costs them lots of downforce. And because of that, they also have trouble getting the tire temperatures and the right window. So the Mercedes problem is not just their floor concept, it's bigger than this. And they would need a combination of new bodywork concept and new floor to be competitive and close the gap to Red Bull and Ferrari. These are large development steps with huge risks during a season while a cost cap is in place. And it's a good time for Red Bull Aeros to take jobs at Mercedes because the offers will be good. Let's see how Mercedes will try to fix the issues and see you at the next video.